How to mix a three-part hydroponic nutrient solution. Manufacturers of liquid hydroponic nutrients generally offer products in the form of one part, two parts, and three parts. Here, we're going to use a great three-part liquid advanced hydroponic nutrient system called Flora Series. Now, unsurprisingly, it comes as three bottles labeled Grow, Micro, and Bloom. Generally speaking, you need to use all three parts, whatever stage your plants are at, just at different ratios and concentrations. Start with the purest water you can. Fill a clean container, keeping track of the amount of water that you put in. Here, we've got two gallons. Take a conductivity meter and test your source water to get an overview of the total amount of dissolved solids in it. If your water reads below 200 ppm, you're probably good to go. The first part we're going to add is the micro. The water we're using here is pretty hard, so we're going to use a hard water formulation of the micro part. We're going to make a mild general purpose hydroponic nutrient solution for vegetative growth. Now, the instructions say one teaspoon per gallon of each part, and as we've got two gallons of water, that's two teaspoons of micro, two teaspoons of grow, and two teaspoons of bloom. Using a clean measuring cup, measure two teaspoons or 10 milliliters of micro. Pour it into the water and stir well. Next, take the grow component. Now, be sure to wash the measuring cup in between each use. It's absolutely vital that the different parts never come into contact with each other in their concentrated form. Finally, take the bloom component. Shake and measure out a teaspoon per gallon. Pour into the water, and you got it. Stir once more. There, you now have a hydroponic nutrient solution that contains all the elements your plants need for growth and bloom. Oh, but hang on a second. There's one more important final step. You'll need to measure the pH. Here, we're using a calibrated digital pH meter. Insert it into the nutrient solution to take a reading. As you can see, the pH is currently too high, so we're going to have to add some pH adjuster to lower the pH. Don't add pH adjusters directly to your nutrient solution. The sudden drop or rise in pH can actually damage your nutrient solution by causing elements to precipitate out of it. Instead, make a dilute solution by adding a pipette's worth of pH adjuster to some water, like this. Keep adding, bit by bit, stirring and retesting the pH until it falls within the desired range. And that's it! You can now feed your hydroponic nutrient solution to your plants. Don't forget to visit JustForGrowers.com to comment on this video or ask questions.